how to generate ready to use NAN agents instantly with Manus AI or with ChatGPT or with Claude. I see this everywhere on YouTube, right? And now I've used NAN a bunch and I've used AI all the time, but can I actually do the building, right? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you whether it can or can't. It gives me all the files. And the files here is cool because you can click on this and see it here. Gmail autoresponder agent workflow. We're going to use Manus. As you can see up at the top here, all of my tabs, I've used a bunch of stuff. Gemini, Genspark, Claude, ChatGPT, and then Manus. What is Manus? Manus, essentially, think about it like Claude, which is just wrapped in some super prompt with some features, right? Like most of these LLM websites that aren't actually their own LLM, they just are basically a layer on top of an LLM, so it just gives it extra features. So like here, you can assign it a task, whatever, click create, and then you can see you can create slides, images, video, and a web page, and it is pretty good. So for example, for my school community, it's been rebranded now to AI Automation Pro, link in the description below, but it used to be called Applied AI. Now I had gotten it to run a strategic direction analysis, and it can come back with this here, um, with, and created this website. So I mean, it's really, it can be really quite good and it goes away and assigns itself tasks and, and goes searches the internet, etc. So here it's got this like little to-do list and stuff that it creates all on its own. So really quite a cool website, but can it actually translate to working with any 10? I created this massive prompt, which will be in um, the AI Automation Hub, which is my free community, link in the description below. And this big prompt here, basically I'm trying to get it to become an NA10 consultant. So I have here, you're an expert NA10 developer and AI automation consultant. Your task, which you can't see because of this here at the top, blah, 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 is complete an NA10 workflow JSON files, solve three business problems using automation. So what I want it to do is essentially become an NA10 consultant where it automates these three deliverables. Gmail autoresponder agent, so automatically responding to emails, a market research report generator, you give it a company name and it'll go and create some market research consultant report. And then a consulting tip Twitter schedule. So basically run a Twitter profile for me. So if you're trying to save time and make money, stop trying to argue with LLMs about how to create a workflow. Come and join AI Automation Pro where I'll teach you any end from the ground up. But not only that, when you first join, you can just tell me whatever problem you're trying to solve and we will create an initial solution to help you. And if you ever get stuck, so say you have workflows you're currently working on, all that you work on in the future and you need help, we have a 100% tech solution guarantee. So everything is made easy and we help you every step of the way. And not only that, but obviously AI is about saving time and making money. But you can actually make real money, so cash, just by posting in the community. Because we recognize that posting is helping each other and raising each other up. And so that's why we help people out with 15, 10 or $5, depending on where you are, weekly on the leaderboards. Meaning you can make like $75 a month just by being a part of the community. So if you're an entrepreneur or builder and you want a community of like-minded people who are always on the edge of AI automation and actually using this stuff, Join AI Automation Pro. It will be the first link in the description below. I wanted to create these three automations and thought they're actually pretty easy to do. So we'll see how it works. Because essentially Gmail would just read your emails and reply using the AI. Market research report would essentially just get a name, search on perplexity, turn it into a report. So just a couple of chat GPT kind of calls essentially. And consulting tip Twitter, again, just make up some tweets and post them. So it shouldn't be that hard. Now, the only thing here is the difficulty could be that there are multiple layers. So there are three to try. But Manus is supposed to be like this autonomous agent. It's not supposed to just be like, create this one workflow. It's like an autonomous agent that can think and do things, right? So I paste this in, and as you can see here, it goes through all of this. It reads the file, it creates some JSON, it creates some documentation, etc. Because for reference as well, ask it the deliverables that I want are the JSON workflow for NA10 and the markdown documentation about it. So it goes through all of this stuff um, and gives me all the files. And the files here is cool because you can click on this and see it here, Gmail autoresponder agent workflow documentation. And it gives me the business use case, problem being solved, and then the overview and steps. So every five minutes, get the unread emails, then generate a reply with OpenAI and then save that draft to Gmail. So perfect, that is exactly what I want it to do. 
But then it has a bunch of extra stuff here, required API keys, configuration instructions for every single node, which is actually pretty good. Although, strangely, it tries to use 3.5 Turbo, which is disappointing. But it does try to then guess the, the JSON values to put in. So, really could be quite good this year. If you were trying to, say, consult using anything, you could try to leverage something like Manus to help create this documentation. But, can it actually create the workflow? Well, it created this workflow here, which looks just at a glance, really, yeah, it looks valid. So we click here and we can copy that. And if I open up NA10 here, let me remove these previous errors. And if I paste in here, we get an error. Property values item is not a triple. Now, I get an error for each of these three that it generates, so the Gmail, the market, and the consulting one. So I then say, here are the errors, can you fix it? And it's like, sure, what should I do? And I'm like, rewrite the JSONs to make sure it works. So then it goes away and does all that again, comes back with these, again, they don't work. So then it goes away and works and again, it comes back with these. And then they still don't work. So let's just click them and show you again. Paste in here, doesn't work, error. If we go back, pick another one, we'll copy this one error and the thing here is like sure it's gone away and try to think of all these solutions but i just don't have a working solution which is frustrating long and short of it it doesn't work right but i don't have the paid manus apparently with paid manus you can get like super manus or something where you then actually let me move over here where you actually then can it runs it like better it's supposed to be like extended thinking or reasoning or whatever but even at this baseline it can't generate these and these are pretty simple workflows and sure using ai's like manus i could get it to generate a single agent so like i had just done a video on how to create your very first na10 agent and sure you could go away and create something like this probably using manus but what is the point it's so simple and so easy to make on your own. So will Manus get there? Possibly. Is it there now? No. But, and a big but, is this type of documentation I think is amazing. I was going to say priceless. But I mean, there's a price on it. But I think this is fantastic because when you're creating some sort of workflow, so like this here, this is super simple. So you don't have to do much thinking. But for example, I have here a headshot generator that I'm currently working on. And Actually, implementing the nodes, once you know what you're doing, is pretty easy. But actually understanding the logic of what you have to do can be difficult. And for example, my undergrad degree is in computer science. Yeah, I learned Java during it, and I learned about C um, and a bunch of other stuff. But basically, it teaches you how to think, how to break down problems. And that type of understanding you can get from an LLM really well, which is what I really rate about this type of documentation. So like these workflow overview and step purposes, these are fantastic. That's the kind of thing that you need because as I'm saying, like with this headshot generator, it can be really difficult to understand, right, so I get a file, I need to turn that into something, upload it somewhere, get something, upload some, and it becomes like this convoluted thing. So workflow overview, I think could be really good, but you know, generally creating the, the NM, N workflow, not very good. So. I suggest you do it for yourself in the meantime, or if you head on over to Applied AI, which is actually AI Automation Pro, and you head on over there, we do an initial consultation form where we will create a blueprint for you. So when you join, you fill out the form and we will architect a specific blueprint which solves your problem. So Manus won't do it, but I will. And if you get stuck with anything at all, we then have tickets that we can help you out, show you how to do it, fix your issues. We have a 100% tech solution guarantee. And additionally, you can be making money from as little as seven days inside here because we pay people for posting, right? So top three people every week who post because posting is helping others, it's sharing value, and it's helping us all, you know, raise up, in a sense, in this AI automation space. So if you like the video, like the video, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.